What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. We are here for our Big Brother rant and review. Uh, this is season 24, episode, child, I don't even know anymore, 29. So, Monty has made his nominations. He has put Alyssa and Brittany on the block. And um, at this point, it's it's we're down to the wire. Whoever survives this week, we're talking about final four. And um, it's, it's getting crucial. Now, Monty is in a very unique position because Monty is close with Turner. He's made a final two with Turner, but he's really close with um, with Taylor. We found out they got real close this week, but that's another conversation. Um, but Taylor is putting pressure on Monty to basically put up Turner because she's like, listen. Now, listen, Taylor is thinking game. Taylor said at the end of the day, out of everybody that's left, Turner's got the best resume. He's won the most HOHs, um, and I think he's won the most um, vetoes at this point, but he's definitely won the most HOHs. He's got the best resume when you talk about Big Brother. And so Taylor's thing is if we can swing and get him out this week, then for the rest of us, we're kind of all on the same playing field. We've all won at least, you know, for the exception of Brittany. I don't think Brittany's won an HOH, but we've all won it. Or, or has a list. Anyway, we're in a better position if, if Turner's out of the house. But Monty really doesn't want to put Turner up. Now, Turner is putting pressure on Monty to put Taylor up because he sees her as a threat. He wants to protect Alyssa. Monty wants to protect Turner. Poor Brittany. She ain't got nobody left, child. So it all comes down to the veto. At this point, the best case scenario for the veto winner, I mean, the best case scenario for, um, um, is that is if Monty wins and he keeps the noms the same. Because he's worried that if Turner wins the veto, he'll bring Alyssa down, which will force him to put up Taylor. He's worried that if Taylor wins the veto, she'll take Brittany down, which will force him to put up Turner. And of course, if either one of them nominate them, I mean, if either one of them win and they take themselves down, now he has to really show his hand and make a decision between Turner or Taylor. So he really needs to win this veto, right? Right? So Big Brother pulls an okie doke and the veto actually takes place at night. They wake them up out of their sleep and they tell them they have two minutes to get to the backyard. They say, if you don't get to the backyard within, I think, was it two minutes? It, it was, I think it was two minutes. If you don't get to the backyard in the next two minutes, you will not be able to play in veto. Everybody is scrambling to put on some clothes, put on some shoes, hurry up and get to the backyard. Not Monty. Monty stops to brush his teeth. Monty goes to the bathroom. Monty still ain't got no clothes on and he literally tries to run out the house and he ends up not making it and getting eliminated. Sir, you have one job. Win the damn veto. You can't win if you're not even in the competition. Now, to be fair, do I think Monty would have won this veto? Probably not. But we'll never know now. A part of me kind of feel like Monty didn't want to play in the veto because maybe he didn't want to win. But I don't know, y'all. That was the best case scenario for his game. But I think had he won, he would have felt pressured to do something. And he knew that whatever he did, it was going to piss off either Turner or Taylor. And I think maybe subconsciously, maybe not consciously, but maybe subconsciously, he made a decision like, I ain't even getting in it. Let them fight it out and I'll figure it out later. Because... They go to the veto. The veto is one of those competitions where they have to figure out the clock. The, the, it was a clock thing, and they had to figure out the, what are those things called? The, the gears of the clock. And they had to fix it so that all the gears worked going all the way up. Um, Brittany won the veto. Brittany actually won the veto. And so, obviously, Brittany's going to take herself down. And now what do we do? Brittany is self-destructing right before our very eyes she goes to monty and she tries to pull some old mafioso if you don't do what i tell you to do i'm gonna remember that next week move when Brittany, nobody's scared of you this is the first thing you don't want all season nobody's scared of you you are not a threat like of course it's anybody's game and anybody can be hoh but nobody's worried about you becoming hoh monty is not worried and what happened was 
Brittany and Taylor had had a conversation and Taylor said she was nervous about going up. You know that she knows that she's cool with Monty, but she also knows Monty's cool with Turner and she's really worried about going up. This will be her first, fifth time on the block and she's just not, but she's over it. So I feel like on one hand, Brittany felt like she was doing Taylor a, a favor by going to Monty and kind of like dangling this right before his eyes. But bullying, well, the, not bully. He, she wasn't bullying. That's not, that's not the word because that's a strong word. But trying to like, Make him feel like, you know, like threatening him. That's what I want. Threatening him is not the answer. Um, and he basically told Taylor, listen, I really didn't like the way Brittany came up here. I think she was trying to advocate on your behalf, but she kind of pissed me off. And if anything, she made me want to put you up more than anything else. So, of course, now Taylor is like, why would she do that? Like, why would she put me out there like that? Why would she do that? Ultimately, when it came down to the veto ceremony, of course, Brittany used the veto on herself. And Monty puts Taylor up. Now that was before they was kissy facing in the in the room. But we'll get to that in our next review. Talk to y'all later. Peace.